So I was just lying in bed last night trying to get some nice sleep, you know. As you do, you've got your phone out. You're just, you're just scrolling through crap that happened in the day thinking, oh well, what are we going to get up to tomorrow when one of the lovely people on my Discord channel, our Discord channel, posted up a statement from Big Ant and Nacon about Rugby 24. Here I am trying to sleep. Oh, the disaster that it was. Rugby 24 has been delayed. So I thought I'd sleep on it and see what I thought about this in the morning. I thought about it a little bit, then I fell asleep because really, it's Rugby 24. And absolutely, right now, who gives a shit? How I feel in the morning is exactly the same as last night. And I can tell you what, from reading the reaction of our Northern Hemisphere friends overnight, I can tell you that the reaction is the same throughout. People are really pissed off about this. And let's take a look at this statement. But first things first, this game was supposed to be released early September, before the Rugby World Cup. Correct? Yes, of course it's correct. And then it was delayed, right? Till about four days from now. Only about less than a week. So this means this game has had two release dates, both of which have been put off less than a week before the date it was originally supposed to release. In the meantime, before initial release date, before this release date, and I expect before much more of another release date, we are going to have absolutely nothing, and we have had absolutely nothing to show from either Nacon or Big Ant in the way of screenshots in the way of video, in the way of information, aside from the crap that we get in these press releases, which is pretty much just saying that if you want to play as American Samoa, well, you probably can. And who's going to do that? Probably not even the bloody American Samoans. So let me just cap it all off right now. If you don't want to stick around throughout the video and see what they've written, here's a recap right at the start. Boy, I'm good to you guys. Rugby 24 is delayed indefinitely. Why do I say indefinitely? Because there is no solid date as to when this game is going to be released. So when players get injured in sport and you don't know when they're going to be back, how long are they out for? Indefinitely. Exactly the same situation here. There's no date. There's a talk about March. We'll go on to that in a moment. But there's no date. So hey, indefinitely. We don't have a rugby game. We don't have a due date. This is a disaster by these two big companies. Rugby gaming is on its deathbed. They had a chance for the magic cure. And I think they've thrown it in the skip bin. Let's get to what they've actually announced and read this, well, this statement, shall we? Okay, so I'm going to be reading this out and making this video up for you guys this morning. It's very early. I'm half asleep. You can probably tell. But you know what? The sort of thing that this is about, you, you don't need to be awake. I could be asleep doing this video. But following this, we're going to be streaming. So if you want to come and have your say about what you think about Rugby 24, join us on Twitch, Cornflake BTP. Join us today. Join us on Friday. We're there three times a week at least, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So come hang out and talk some rugby with us. Where we're going to be playing, well, not a rugby game this week. Anyway, that's for damn sure. So here it is. This is what Rugby 24 Nacon Big Ant Studios has released as their information update Ooh, about Rugby 24. Can you tell I'm really, really, really unsympathetic about this? It's really quite annoying. Okay, let's get into it, right? Dear rugby fans, who the hell are these guys? Who the who, who are these guys? I've not, I've not heard of these guys for ages. Okay, as we look forward to another year full of incredible rugby moments. We hope this year treats you well. Okay, hang on. It's today the, what? Hang on, 24th of January. Happy New Year, everyone, from Big Ant and Nacon, because they clearly can't even announce that to say, have a great 2024 team. They just wait until one of their games gets delayed, because let's be honest, it's happened in tennis, it's happened in AFL, it's happened in cricket. They've all been delayed releases. They've all been garbage releases. They've all had issues. They've all had backlash. Rugby is exactly the same, and it's probably going to be even worse. Let's carry on. Firstly, we apologize. <laughs> we apologize for taking so long to bring you this long overdue update. No shit. Really? A apology not accepted. I'm sorry. 
I'm sorry, but we see all these reports coming out, you know, old twit man, big huncho guy, oh, yes, I'm playing this in my office, it's quite good. Send a piss and screenshot, mate. Get someone. Do you even have a promotional department? Do you have a social media team? Clearly not. Clearly bloody not. Because they can't even take a screenshot of a, a screenshot. I mean, it's not that hard. Put it on Facebook, put it on Twitter, put it on Insta, put it on everything. It's not that hard, dude. Hey, here's a screenshot from Rugby24. It's two created teams, created kits, you know. They're just wearing blue and one's wearing green. Who cares? It doesn't need to be a lifelike face image of bloody Artie Savia and old Farrell, you know, spear tackling each other in the middle of the post. Just something to show what the game looks like. Have a brain, man. People just want a little bit of sight and information and updates. So, apology. No, I don't accept it. Take it back. Just take it back. Just cross that line out. Cross it off. Okay, this is going to get worse. I'm sorry. <sighs> the great news. Back to, back to the release. The great news is that we have officially licensed almost all of the rugby world. Some 140 plus nations and competitions for inclusion in Rugby 24. Great. Great. Let's, let's be honest. If you're really, really, really that obsessed with licensing a rugby game, you really probably only need maximum 20 to 30 licenses. Add to that maybe 15 or so competitions around the globe. That only equals about 35 to 45 teams, nations, competitions. And yet here we are with 140 nations and competitions. That does not say club teams. That does not say domestic teams. So don't come at me with the like, oh, they need Saracens and Northampton. They need Super Rugby and they need all French clubs. No, 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 no. That says nations and competitions. So 140, again, <laughs> love it. American Samoa, roll me in. Let's go. Let's go. 140 Team World Cup. Move on. Move on. Licensing is the biggest issue surrounding this game right now. I've said it once, I'll say it a million times. You want licensing answers? You just have to have a good player creation, a mass download ability for all users. Bang, done. Exactly what Don Bradman Cricket Games did early years ago. Player creation, release it early. All the great guys out there that could create players and faces. Not me, I suck at it. But the rest of you are brilliant. They completely updated that game in a matter of a couple of weeks. Licenses? Never heard of her. Got rid of them. Don't need them. That is your answer. The user base. Update your database on a seasonal, if not less, basis. It's really the simplest way to go about it. And it avoids all this. All of this gets avoided. But it looks like we're not getting that because we're getting a database that's going to be out of date. Well, it's going to be out of date by release. Because let's be honest, they're still going on about the World Cup being the, what, official title? Let's move on, however. And they say, however, due to the intense rugby calendar during the 2023 World Cup year for the official game, no less, we have not been able to secure access to enough of the teams to create the considerable amount of content we need to meet our original release time frame. So as in last September, when they delayed this the first time, it was because they didn't have the face capture of enough of the international players. Do we need that? Do we need that to release a game? I'm sorry, but that is the copiest out, crappy cop out excuse I've ever heard in my life. Do we need every single player looking picture perfect with his fat little face? No. Do we really care if Owen Farrell looks like General Bob down at your supermarket? Let's be honest, no. You don't need all the players from Timbuktu to be face scanned or whatever the hell they do with them. Travesty, man. You're delaying a game because the player's likeliness isn't likeliness. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. We've been surviving on Rugby Challenge 4 and Rugby uh, 22 and some of us, Rugby 08 even as well. You know who I'm talking about and how much player likeness is in that. <laughs> Zero. Okay, Rugby Challenge has got a little bit, but very, very little, right? So the fact that they're really getting their knickers in a twist over that? 
concerns me a lot because this tells me the game is complete because they're only delaying it so they can uh, secure access to enough teams to create the amount of content that they want for release. So this has got nothing to do with the actual game. What do we want, rugby gamers? I'll be honest, 90% of us just want a good playing rugby game. I don't care if these players look pretty as crap. I don't care if they look fantastic. If they run around in circles and you can't break a line or do anything fun like in Rugby 22 and you're going side to side to side to side to side to side. Boring. Don't want to play it. I don't care how good anyone looks. If that's the game that's being released, throw it in the bin now. Throw it in the bin now. It needs a good match engine. That is it. I don't care about the rest of it. So this week's paragraph is going to piss off anyone who owns a console and not a PC. I apologize on their behalf because they haven't. I'll be honest. So this is what they have said. We have decided, for we, don't include me in this, Big Ann and Akon have decided that the best way forward, oh God, is to release Rugby 24 into early access on Steam. That's, I mean, that's not it. They're not finished. There's not a full stop there. Oh, that's just me sighing and, and just disillusion of where we're going with this rugby game. Carrying on, they say, after. Ha ha So early release after we have sufficient amount of content captured. We are currently traveling the world, capturing teams, and expect to have enough content in March with a view to completing all of content capture sometime later in 2024 at which time it will release on console also. So there's a little placeholder, maybe for March, April sort of time, because, let's be honest, that doesn't mean crap. So they expect to have enough in March that they can release the title in early access. Console gamers, well, I mean, expect to see it down later in the year, maybe a year later from that original release in early September. But there's still no solid date, so to me, it is still indefinitely delayed until further notice. This is just bewildering to me. Capturing teams and players, traveling the world? You don't need to travel the world. Rugby Champions is one of the best rugby games out there. Why? 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 I can hear the hordes already going, because it plays fun rugby. Who gives a crap about how players look and capturing teams? I don't care about that. It really does not matter. If the game plays like shit, it's going to be bad. Whether they look good or not. I'm beating the same drum as the last paragraph, but it just absolutely puzzles the living snot out of me that we are at a stage where games being delayed by, what, we're looking over six months, surely now, what, September, October, November, December, January, yeah, we're, we're, well, we're going over six months here, team. I've got the fingers out, and that's the ultimate mass calculation. So we're going over six months because we don't have the correct capturing of teams. That is crazy. How much money are they spending sending these teams around the world? I mean, I'll join. I'd love to go around the rest of the world. I'd love it. Get me in the team. Screw the rugby game. I just want to travel the world. Just like these guys. Because clearly it looks like there's not much work going on in a game. Moving on. Moving on. We will be releasing more information about Rugby 24's early access content and price. Of course, it's all about the money, isn't it, you pricks? In the coming weeks. Okay, so maybe in three months we'll get some more information about that. I'm thinking, you know, February, March, uh, pff, May, May. We maybe get something then. And then they go on and be a bit cheesy. We look forward to taking fans on this rugby journey with us and sincerely appreciate the patience that has been afforded to us. Release a video clip of the game. Release a screenshot. Release a demo with just generic nobody teams, like with, with fake players, just to see how the game plays. We don't care about faces. We don't care about kits so much. Kits are nice, but the game plays like crap. We're not going to play it. Okay, it's simple. We'll be going back to Rugby Champions, back to Rugby 08, back 
to Rugby Challenge 4, whichever is your prerogative. I know it's a, it's a big debate amongst the rugby gamers, but let's be honest. When you go back to the older games, hey, when we go back to Jonah Lomu Rugby, geez, that's how bad the situation is. When we go back to those games, doesn't matter how pretty Owen Farrell looks. It doesn't matter how fantastic those Star Francais kits look. It doesn't matter how good that Crusaders emblem looks. Doesn't matter how many cool Americans we've got from the MLR. Old time grumpy Ma'anonu Matt Ghetto 2.0. Look, they, that's why they're going over to the States. They're going over, oh shit, Ma'anonu's re-signed. We've got to get that dreadlock right. Come on, come on now. Let's make a good rugby game irrelevant of the beauty. Make a good game, add the beauty after. That's all it really takes. The Rugby 2014. Dot. Okay. I've gone through that enough. I feel like I've gone through that enough. What are your guys' thoughts? I've raged. I'm a bit annoyed, honestly, because it's the same thing. Exactly the same as last September. We've got no more information. We don't care about 140 nations. Let's be honest. No one's going to play with more than 20 at maximum. Hey, everyone would have played in Portugal for about a month. No one's playing in Portugal now, are they? You know, this is a thing. We moved on, the official game of the Rugby World Cup, six months later, still being delayed. Just release a game. Release something or throw it in the bin. Because we're getting to a stage now where it's like, where are we? What, what's the stage of the game? Are they even, has the game even been created? Where are we at? We don't really know. If the game is finished, make a video. Team A in blue, Team B in white. Who cares? Who cares? Show a little bit of the match engine. Tackle animations. Running animations, set piece animations, I don't even know. Is there creative player stuff? Show a little bit of player creation. Show a little bit of AI, not the AI, show a little bit of the UI, I should say. And the AI for that matter. Of course, there's got to be a lot of AI involvement in how the game plays. Show the UI, uh, show menus, you know, that sort of stuff. There's so much you can show without having to put on there someone's face or kits or badges or anything like that. That is a little short... Way too long video from me, as per always. I just wanted to read this out. I just wanted to... Well, I just wanted to have a wee rage. I've, I've just woken up. And, I mean... I read this when I, went, when I was in bed at some ungodly hour of the morning. And it's like, it's just... It's just poor. Is, are you giving Big Ann and Akon the patience to deliver this game? Or are you starting to lose faith? Are you believing this is going to be a good game? Or is this now the second nail in your coffin... Of Rugby 24 is going to be good. Like I said at the start, Rugby Gaming is on a knife edge. It's on the side of a cliff. It's halfway in the ground. This, now with its second delay, is just lowering that coffin a little bit more. If the game does release and it's garbage, just cut the rope. <laughs> Let it drop. Because we'll be done. We will be done. It is an absolute travesty, a disaster. Nacon and Big Ant, you've got a reputation for being shit, for doing this thing, for poor communication. And you are surely not letting yourselves down, but you are, for one, definitely letting down the rugby community. How do you promote a game like this? As someone who makes videos, who streams, and I know for a lot of the other guys that do it as well, boy, I hate clickbaity videos about new games. I hate them completely. That's why on this channel, you won't ever see solid stuff like this. Otherwise, you won't see anything about Rugby 24. Because it's only facts. And when I get a game, then we'll start talking. But boy oh boy, it's hard to promote, it's hard to encourage, it's hard to get people behind the game when this is what happens every few months. No communication, no screenshots, no facts. That is a real disaster. So when there's more info, I'll be seeing you back here. Otherwise, uh, we'll be playing Football Manager or something else on stream instead. Uh, another six years of Rugby Challenge? Boy oh boy. Can't do it. I'll see you all next time. Thanks for tuning and watching. Let me know your thoughts about Rugby 24. What do you think? Are you happy about this? Are you disaster about this? What do you reckon? Let me know. I'll see you on stream. We'll be going live soon. Uh, until then, though, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Hopefully, we'll see something out later in the year. Take care. Sorry, console gamers. Aye, aye, aye.